Hey guys, how are y'all? First, I just want to say that I'm sure most of y'all noticed in my previous videos that I needed to get my hair done desperately. And I finally made an appointment and I got in to see Lindsay today and I absolutely love it. It is just exactly what I wanted. She does an amazing job. So if you're in the Jacksonville, Florida area, you need to call Dot's Hair Salon and ask for Lindsay O'Neill. She is the sweetest girl and she just does an amazing job and I love her. So anyway, back to the video. A few of y'all have asked me to do my favorite products from the drugstore or like a starter kit. You know, either you haven't bought makeup in a really long time or you're just overwhelmed by, you know, all the makeup, all the options, the variety. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you my favorite drugstore products. Now keep in mind there are a ton of great products at the drugstore. So this is not everything, but I'm trying to make it as concise as possible so that the video isn't like an hour long. I am going to try to keep it to one product per function. So like one powder, one foundation. I can't promise I'm going to stick to that because I'm already looking and there's a couple for, you know, but anyway. So I'm thinking about doing a, um, like a high-end version of this video. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, then just thumbs up the video or comment down below, below uh, uh, to let me know. I guess I will just go ahead and jump on in. So the first thing is, and you have to trust me on this, uh, it is a pretty good dupe for the Smashbox primer, but it's not technically a primer, but it is the Monistat, <laughs> I can't even believe it, okay, the Monistat Shaping Relief Powder Gel. It looks like this. You can get it at like Walmart or Target for six or seven bucks. It's a little more expensive at the drugstore. It just does a really good job at like smoothing out your skin. It doesn't really fill in your pores, but it, it does help a little. But, um, it's just a great option if you don't want to spend the 30 or 40. The Smashbox is like $43 or something. So it's just a great alternative if you're not looking to spend that kind of money on a primer. So yeah recommend this. Now as far as the foundation goes, my favorite drugstore foundation, while there are a lot out there like the CoverGirl has uh, some good ones in L'Oreal and then the Wet n Wild one that I told you that I just bought recently, that's so what I absolutely love. My favorite is the Rev Revlon Color Stay. I got mine in the normal to dry skin um, and this is 320 True Beige but this is a little dark for me. I mix this with a lighter one that I have um, to get my perfect shade, but this is just a really great full coverage foundation. I love it. I'm wearing it today, I think. I am. I'm wearing this today. So, absolutely love it. For underneath the eyes, I absolutely love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm having problems with my camera not wanting to like zoom in on certain things and with the glare off the window so I'm really sorry about that I don't really know what to do about it because I use natural light so if it's kind it's, it's cloudy here it's been raining but I wanted to get this video up so yeah this is the brightener shade and I also use the neutralizer shade I absolutely love these I've gone through several of them they're great for setting your foundation I absolutely love the uh, Rimmel London stay matte long-lasting pressed powder Mine's in 005 Silky Beige. I also have the 004 Sandstorm, I believe, that I used to set uh, like my T-zone that I want to keep a little lighter. So this is a really great foundation. I use this when I don't use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. So I love that. For a bronzer, you cannot beat this gorgeous color. It is a Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer SPF 15 and this is in the shade Ticket to Brazil. It looks like this. It's huge too. I mean it's like it is it's going to take a lot to get through this thing. But this does have a little bit of a um, like orange undertone so you have to be careful with it. But it is just really really pretty and I like it. 
a lot. And for those of you wanting a darker um, bronzer, like more true brown, and I've heard this was a dupe for the um, NARS Laguna and Orgasm. It's e.l.f. Contouring and Blush Brush. Blush Brush. The Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. Um, I don't know what the name of this is. I think it might be St. Lucia, but I could be wrong. But it looks like this. Right here. And um, it's just a really nice, it looks shimmery, but the shimmer doesn't transfer onto your skin. Like, at all. And it looks like this. I really like this bronzer, especially for like contouring and stuff. I'll go ahead and show you the blush too, because it's pretty. It looks like this. Okay. For a highlighter, I like, if you want like a more natural um, highlight, I really like the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is a bronzer, but it's definitely not a bronzer. I don't know any skin tone that this would be a bronzer. But it's a Reserve Your Cabana. Looks like this. And the color is like this. And I'll show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's just a, it is just, it's gorgeous. Trust me, it's gorgeous. Love it. Now for a little, it's a little more expensive, but you can find Physician's Formula on sale a lot for like 40% off at CVS or Walgreens. And um, Shades of Cassie actually recommended this and I went out and I got it and I absolutely love it. This is Translucent Pearl it's, uh, Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. And it looks like this. And it is just beautiful. It's like more like silvery white and it's just, I just absolutely love it. beautiful and I have a whole separate review on this so if you want to see it I will have it linked below but it's the Giordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in 04 continuous almond it is, and for eyeshadows there's a lot of great eyeshadows at the drugstore the one that is like consistently great is wet n wild they're so pigmented this is in walking on eggshells these are the colors. There's some dupes in here too for uh, MAC eyeshadows. But they're like super pigmented. So there's those colors. And I will swatch them here. It's a bad angle. But these are gorgeous. NYX also has some phenomenal eyeshadows. Love NYX. You can get NYX at um, Ulta or online at a lot of places. Um, some beauty supply stores carry NYX. This is in the color um, True Beige. And I've heard it was a dupe for MAC Wedge. Looks like that. It's just a really pretty color. I like it a lot. I'm just going to show you one. I'm trying to keep it short because I'm already over my one per function thing. And e.l.f. These are hit or miss. See, I've already cracked a couple of these. But they're they're really pigmented. I need to move a little faster. They're really pigmented. And they're really, really pretty. So I recommend those. I just got those at Target. They're, um, they're a dollar. And then this little compact thing, a dollar. You can't beat it. So on to like, eyeliners. The Revlon Colorstay Liquid eye pen. It has a felt tip like this. It's really nice if you're starting out with your eyeliner. Um, I just really like it. And then I love the Rimmel London. You can see how much I've used of them. The one in Nude is 005 Nude. It's great for your waterline. And then I also have the black one that's really black. Really creamy. Goes on real smooth. The Essence Gel Eyeliner. I've in Midnight in Paris. It looks like that. And I have used it for a while now. It goes on so creamy that like you would not think that it would like lock into place. You think it would like run everywhere. But it it dries and it's there. So love it. Love it. 
You know what I love for my brows, so I'm not going to go into depth about that. I have a whole separate brow tutorial. So the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit and the Milani Easy Brow. Great products. Love them. Blushes. I am obsessed with blushes and lipsticks. I have so many. I love, love, love them. The NYX ones, I mean. I love a lot of them, though. But these are the three of the NYX ones that I just adore. And this one is in mauve. It's just a great neutral color. My mom really likes this one. It, um, it's just very natural. It's, it's just, oh, it's pretty. So it looks like that. And that was in mauve. And then these, ironically, they're both peach. They are both PB06 peach. And I've heard people talk about forever how peach, the peach one, isn't really peach. It's like a really light pink. That's true. Here it is. Then I was in Ulta and I found this one. And I don't know if you can tell, but this one is absolutely peach. Same exact product. I'm not sure what's going on there, but this one is pink and that one is peach. But it is the same name. I'm going to show you. So... This one's the peach one, like the peach color one, because they're both peach. The name is peach. And this is the pink one. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. Love them both, though. Glad I found them both. Giordana. It's a really great, cheap cosmetic brand. I know. I've, I've mentioned them several times. Is I, I love their blushes. The only place that I have found... Their blushes, like in a store where you don't have to order them online at like cherryculture.com or, or whatever, is in Kmart. It's the only reason I really go to Kmart is to buy these kind of products. This is called Rose Silk. Looks like this. It is gorgeous. I love all of them. They're so creamy, so smooth. They blend wonderfully. Love them. I also love the little twist packaging. Y'all know my favorite mascara at the drugstore. Love it, love it, love it. The Georgiana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This is the original one. Don't be fooled by the other ones. Oh, I forgot a blush. Real fast, Sonia Kashuk. This one's a little more expensive. It is $10. The color of this is Sunset, and I love it. Love it. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like coral color and it is so pigmented. The quality of these are just amazing. I also want to pick up Flamingo. I've heard it was a dupe for MAC Pink Swing. I don't know though because I don't have it. And real fast, I'm almost done. I have some lipsticks. My absolute favorite one at the moment is the Rimmel Pink Chic and it is in 220. Looks like this. And I'm out of spots. But it is a gorgeous creamy just the perfect pink. I just love it. Love it. The Milani Nude Cream. This is in the gold tube. I'm sorry. And it's the perfect nude because it's not too, it doesn't like make me look dead. It has some pink or a, kind of a coral undertone to it. I, I just love it. It's beautiful. All of the Maybelline lipsticks and these kind of packagings are phenomenal. I love the Vivids. This is not one of the Vivids, but it is just absolutely beautiful. It's called Make Me Pink. Can you tell I love pinks? It looks like this right here. Gotta hurry. My baby just woke up from his nap. My other baby is like snoring over there. So if you hear snoring, that's my two-year-old. And the last one is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Coral Berry. And it is a beautiful coral, coral color. Excuse me. And it looks like this. Love it, love it, love it. Last product. And I'm sorry, I've been talking so fast trying to get through these products. But this is the, uh, NY, the NYX, or NYX, Butter Gloss and Eclair. All of these are amazing. They go on so creamy on your lips. They're not sticky. 